for us as a church, we look after the protection of women and children, especially vulnerable children and women. We also take the position that the perpetrator, whatever needs to be done, whether it needs to go beyond counseling, that that is for the court um, and for the law to take its, um, its course. And so I will not delve into that situation, but I do agree that at some point in time, should this go further, that it is the court that will decide what is the way forward. Okay. And I know you said that you do believe that Jubilee Ministry did everything that it could have, but according to their release, they knew since May, but there was no action from the church to say, okay, let's get these young women to the police. Because, like I said, this man is alleged of committing serious crimes against children. What I have known is that there are means and ways in which organizations and bodies deals with certain situations. I'm certain that for some of us, we would have liked that perhaps Jubilee moved with post haste. But as I said, from what I have ascertained, um, it was something that they took seriously, very seriously, because they too are aware that sexual abuse and assault is one that we must not tolerate. And uh, in their stead, um, they dealt with it, as I said, on a basis whereby they felt that they had to ensure that due diligence was done in dealing with the matter. I must also, as I said, as a part of what I know is taking place, is that um, the victims and the status of the victims is that, you know, as much help is being sought in order to deal with um, the situation of the counseling that is needed and any other assistance. And so I do know that that aspect is also taking place.